Hello and welcome to this video on making a virtual museum. This video talks about how to put pictures on the wall. So we'll start with the same room-ish that we made last time. I'm going to delete that door so you can't see it. There's no door in the room. Uh, and we're going to add a door into this room and we're going to add some pictures on the wall. So adding a door in the room is really easy. We're just going to add a rectangle and then we're going to make that rectangle black so it looks like you're walking into a deep void of nothingness. Door. You have a door now. Um, to add a picture onto the rectangular walls, it's super easy. We're just going to insert an image and if you have pictures of yourself on your drive that you can work with, that is super helpful. So I'm going to choose this picture, insert it. It is way too big to look like it's a picture on the wall, so I'm going to resize that. And then we're going to add a border around it, just a three pixel border, and I'm going to make it white, so it looks like a white frame on the wall. That's all really simple, but if you want to add a picture onto one of your trapezoid walls, it's a little bit more complicated, so we shall go through those steps. So we're going to add another image, another random childhood picture. Um, so this picture is way too big also. Um, but we're going to start with this picture, and then beside the crop, so this is the crop tool right here, right beside it there's a little drop down arrow to mask your image. And if you click on that and choose the trapezoid shape, it's going to mask your image into a trapezoid, but we need it at rotated to 90 degrees so that it'll go on that wall. If it's going on the other wall, you want to rotate the other way to 270. And then we need to make it so that the picture is actually the other way. And now we have to click on the crop tool and we're going to rotate the picture back to zero. But you'll notice that the top and the bottom of the picture aren't filling the frame, so we're just going to make the picture bigger there. And it's not going to be a perfect, um, a perfect crop or picture on the wall because you're still putting a rectangle picture into a trapezoid frame and it's going to be weird. So we will try our best and then we'll put it on the wall and resize it so it fits on the wall. And then we will adjust this if we need to so it fits with the depth of the wall. And you'll see like when I resized it, it changed that crop so we can change that a little bit too. And now we have a picture on the wall. So that is that. Uh, <laughs> if you have any questions, send me a message or ask me in class.